Oh, hey there. I'm Celery Mill, and this is my plantation. It's been a cold winter. Our plants have been through some rough times. Have you brought your plants inside yet? Think about the plants, man. It's freezing out there. Some of us take care of our plants this winter. We're going to be taking calls in just a few moments here, but first I'm going to talk about a very special plant of mine. I left them out in the cold until just a couple nights ago because it's been real crazy out there for the plants, honestly. It's this one right over here. <sighs> Old Georgia. Ah, baby. She will recover. Others will not. This one here is an African violet. This is old boy Richard. He's from the desert, so he is not a fan of winners. Aren't you, boy? <laughs> oh, man, that'll get you. Good thing we got aloe on the set. All right, let's take some calls. Who do we got today? It's call times. So let's get them in. Hello, Dr. Mills. I love your show. I have a question for you. What's the best way to grow a rose bush? The best way to grow a rose bush? We talking indoor or outdoor? Definitely outdoor for my outdoor garden. Well, step one, you're going to buy some seeds. Um, second, you're going to need a yard. Third, a shovel. And you're going to need a shovel. You're going to take your seeds and you're going to go dig a fine little hole in your yard and and next thing you know, you got next caller. Uh, what's up, Dr. Mills? I was just wondering, how often should I be watering my Strong Lagon Macrobotchus? The Strong Lagon Macrobotchus. I got a story behind these things. And that brings us to our fact of the day. Just how strong is a Strong Lagon Machaplus? The Strong Lagon can withstand a whole force of fire ants. Fact of the day. Oh, I never knew that. Well, it's a fact. Thanks for calling. I hope no one heard that. And now we've got a special guest from the audience. Um, Hi. This is my plan. I've had them for about four months. And as you can see, it's not going very well, Dr. Mills. Can you help me? I've got just the thing. Would you hand her over to me for a minute? Be, be, be careful here. Oh yeah, it's not doing too well, man. Still got a hint of it, but it will need some taking care of. And I do have just the thing, though. It's a very complicated process. We had a hard time setting up the whole scene of this uh, set right here for the film, and um, it took a long time, and now we've made it here. I finally brought you the interview, the first interviewee of the show. And you have a wonderful question that I... You need to purchase my new um, plant grower. I totally forgot my name. Dr. Mills Celery Water. Dr. Mills Celery Growth Water. It's $24.99 a bottle and it'll bring this right up. <laughs> Thank you, Dr. Mills. <laughs> Not a problem. And our next guest, all the way from the back of the audience, with a plant. I found this at the store. Uh, I was thought it was a garden store? Grocery store. I thought it was a coconut, and I got home, and I think it's some, I think it's some other kind of plant. Well, the coconut tree is somewhat similar shape and size. Let me see what I can do with it. Wow, that's a real plant. A fine coconut tree she is. Yes. Now we can... That wraps it up. Playing time is over.